everyone, I'm Jason O'Dell and thanks for joining me today. And uh, on this episode for February 2017, I'm going to talk about stuff that should be in your camera bag or accessories that aren't necessarily the kinds of things that you would think about for your camera. Okay, so, uh, you know, you've got your camera, your lenses, your filters, a bunch of stuff that you have, but there's other things that either need to be tucked in your camera bag or are very useful and I want to talk about some of those today. So one of the things I want to talk about really quickly is just when you're packing for a trip, you know, you got to bring your spare batteries, right? Well, how many batteries do you really need? And I would say the answer is three batteries. Um, you're going to have one battery in your camera, one spare battery in your bag at all times, and one probably back at your hotel or wherever on the charger. So as long as you've got one fresh one that you can charge up every evening, uh, three batteries would be the minimum that I would bring that will work. Now some other things that, that you might not know about uh, or you might know about. Um, if you're traveling, little blower bulb. This is the uh, Giotto's Rocket Air rocket blower. You can get these um, in different sizes. I have a larger one and then I have this small one for blowing dust off my lenses or my sensor. Um, if I'm traveling light, I can pack this little teeny guy and that's a, a nice thing to have. Along that same line is that it's never a bad idea to bring a couple of microfiber cloths. You can never have too many of these. Uh, put one in your bag, put one in your backpack, uh, keep one in a jacket pocket for your glasses. Very, very useful. Now some other things you can put in your camera bag that, that you might not think about um, are rain covers. And there's a couple of different kinds. There's dedicated ones and then there's disposable um, real real lightweight ones. So if you want something that's really inexpensive, this is the, the Optech rain sleeve. Okay, and this is just, it allows you to put your hand in there, it goes over your camera, um, and uh, these are next to nothing. Uh, they pack very small and you just tuck it in your camera bag, keep it in your backpack, and it's there just in case you need to um, shoot in the rain. A little more heavy duty option would be something like this, which is the, the, um, the FM Photography Shutter Hat. And I like this one because it goes around your camera and it's got these little tabs here to stick into your hot shoe to, to hold them in place and various flaps for looking through the viewfinder. The reason why I like these is because I can not only use them in case you know they're getting spray or it's a little bit of, of rain, but I also use them when I'm doing long exposures to help prevent light leaks. You can wrap this around your, your camera lens and keep uh, light from getting in there um, around your lens. So the, the FM photography shutter hat is quite nice. Okay, a few other little things that you may or may not know about. Um, one is called a filter wrench, and this is a filter wrench. And this little guy grabs on and is really, really useful. They that you can get a pack of three for like I don't know eight or ten dollars, um, and these are great because if you ever have to deal with removing a polarizing filter, a, a rotating filter, especially the thin mount ones this is going to save your butt. So having a filter wrench in your bag at all times, you can buy a pack of three, put them in different camera bags so they're always living there. It's a good idea to, to have. Okay, what about um, some other minor accessories? This is gaffer's tape. This is so useful. It's, it's stronger, uh, it's heavy duty tape. It's not as intense as duct tape, uh, but it's not going to leave any marks either. And this is, you can use this to um, hold up paper backgrounds, you can use it to um, help make a, uh, a, a snoot for your flash, you can do all kinds of stuff with gaffer tape, it's black so it blocks light from coming in. Um, I just put some in my in my camera bag, carry it with me, you never know when you might need uh, to use it, so it's a good accessory to have. Um, other things to, to put in there that you may or may not think about are the little hex wrenches for your lens plates, if you use a Arca Swiss like uh, plate from, say, Really Right Stuff or Kirk, uh, they're going to attach to your camera with these hex wrenches. You're going to want to have one in case you need to either tighten it or remove it from your camera or lens foot. Um, just as a side note, always remember to check when you're packing for a trip that you have your 
lens plates, your camera plate, because you don't want to show up somewhere um, in the middle of the field and then discover you can't actually attach your camera to your tripod. That would be bad. So have that. Speaking of tripods, uh, depending on the manufacturer, a lot of tripods will come with a dedicated set of wrenches or tools like these. This is for my Gitzo tripods to tighten the legs or adjust them. Keep those in your bag so that if you end up with a a floppy tripod leg, you can tighten it down when you're in the field. Extremely, extremely useful. Okay, a couple other little things that you might want to have, and, and I'll shut up for a while. Um, what about sunscreen? You can never be without sunscreen, so get yourself either a stick or a small sunscreen to keep in your camera bag that can go with you wherever you are so you can be prepared for the elements. And along those lines, also, I have some insect repellent. Now, this is special insect repellent that I recommend. This is great stuff. This is called Natropel. Um, it comes in a couple of different brands. Uh, the active ingredient in this sunscreen is called uh, Picaridin. And it works just as well as DEET. I swear by this. I've used this down in the Everglades. It works really, really well. Uh, but unlike DEET, uh, it's not going to melt the rubber grips on your camera or plastic or, or anything else. So this stuff is is really good. You can get in this little uh, spray bottle, but it also comes in little uh, one-use wipes, which are nice. You can put those little wipes in uh, your, your camera bag so that you always have a little insect repellent wherever you go. I can't tell you how many times I've been down with clients in Florida or somewhere, and then the bugs come out, and it's like, oh, geez, I forgot my sunscreen. So a little bottle of sunscreen or those little wipes, That'll help you out a lot. Keep it in your bag. One other thing um, that is not going to be in your camera bag, but if you have space to bring it, you can't leave without them, and that is a set of knee pads. This is probably my, my favorite non-photographic camera accessory because these make getting down on hard ground at ground level for landscape photography. Anytime you want to get down on the ground, maybe it's because you're shooting uh, sports, maybe it's your kid's soccer game, you want to kneel with your monopod, whatever. A pair of knee pads is indispensable and you can pick these up at any you know, um, gardening supply store. They don't have to be fancy ones. These have a, a plastic on them, which I like because they're not only a little tougher, but they're more uh, waterproof too. So a, a set of knee pads, uh, really, really cool stuff. Now, one last little thing to think about, you know, your normal accessories, you think about your camera, but what about your smartphone? Okay, so many people are taking pictures with their, with their, with their phone that it's, uh, and you can do some really fun things with your smartphone camera apps, like um, do uh, time-lapse videos right, right in your phone. Well, in order to, for those to work, you need something to mount your camera in if you want to do videos like time-lapse. So I've got this little... Um, this little uh, iPhone or smartphone clamp, and it's from a company called Me Photo, and you can get these at B and H. Uh, they come in all different colors, different sizes, depending on how big your phone is. Um, what I love about this is that not only is it adjustable here, it's got a little ball ball uh, grip on there, ball clamp, um, but the bottom of this is dovetailed, and it will fit in the jaws of your um, Arca Swiss clamp. So if you've got a, a little ball head, like a little really right stuff ball head, you can put this in there, or you can just put it, you know, on itself. It's also got uh, threaded uh, holes, so if you just have a, a, a tripod with a screw, you can just attach it to a, to a tripod. And if you want to get really cute, really fancy, um, really right stuff makes this really interesting accessory. And that's this thing right here. This is a clamp mount. And it comes um, with, it comes in a kit, and uh, this clamp allows you to, it has a little ball head right here. You can put a camera in this, or you could put your smartphone in this uh, if you've got a little clamp. And this sucker attaches to a rail or a post, you know, of a fence. So if there's like a fence and you're trying to get your camera on it, you can place this on there. I was using this on a cruise ship last month, put it on the railing of the deck, and then I could do my time lapse with my phone as we're pulling pulling into port. So it's really cool. Um, it's from Really Right Stuff, 
And um, you can get these now at B&H as well. They started carrying really right stuff uh, gear. So those are some ideas for things to put in your camera bag and take with you when you're traveling that sort of go outside of the normal photographic accessories. But I find them to be incredibly, incredibly useful. So until next time, I'm Jason O'Dell. Be sure to sign up for my newsletter at luminescentphoto.com and I'll see you.